it is absolutely warm. Can you see how shiny I am? <laughs> um, so, box of goth this month. I've, I'm apologising now that I haven't um, already uploaded this because I've been busy studying. So, um, that's why. And yes, I have been tempted to look in it, but no, I have saved it for you guys because I like opening it with you and obviously you enjoy seeing what I've got. Um, so I saved it for you guys. I'm just unstringing something at the moment, so I'll be right back once I've took all the confetti off it. So, um, I forgot to tell you, this box is, I think it's Witching Summer. So, um, if you're not aware, I'm a witch. So, hopefully this box can be somewhat inspirational to me. So, firstly, we have this wreath. To be honest, I've not even really looked at it myself before showing it you. I've just done myself a wreath of actually, I found um, a Nightmare Before Christmas wreath in a charity shop where like these bits were coming off so I just hot glued them back on into the correct places. Other than that like the lights on it was working and everything and it's beautiful, I'll show you. Um, it was amazing, it was free as well. <laughs> crazy um so yeah this this wreath is um I don't know I have like initially Ostara vibes with it um so yeah seeing as though I have initial Ostara vibes and I don't have like a springtime um wreath so I think I will use this as that because it's really beautiful for it isn't it Oh, we have a stone. It's a nice happy stone as well. We have blue quartz. Oh, lovely. Um, it is a stone of peace, expression and order that can enhance, organise organizational, <laughs> organizational abilities, self-discipline and orderliness. It is also a boost for creative and, oh, creativity and expression. It's really nice and a great size that as well, isn't it? What size is that? Beautiful, isn't it? That's going to go into my little rock collection. Not in a Ross way, like, oh no, I do have a couple of fossils. But, um, yeah, I have a collection of, like, fossils, um, crystals, stuff. Ooh, we have a, this has shard. I'm going to undo it. That took a while, it was well wrapped. Thankfully, it's really quite heavy. So I think it's a selenite wand that we have. I'm guessing. Could be wrong, but it's heavy. It's beautiful. It's got like this pearly white look to it. So um, I'm thinking a selenite um, wand. It's gorgeous. So that will go in my wand collection. That's growing. It shouldn't, but it is. So that's all oh, these gorgeous so far. <laughs> Thank you, box of goth. Right, let's um. I have the confetti bits. Oh, that's string Do it with it. There we go. We have ah the um main design of this month's box. 
and it says underneath oh sorry it says underneath a witching summer it's really pretty though isn't it i really love the braids in her hair it's very cute um we have a little card i'll go through with you now a witching summer we have skip this next like 30 seconds in case you don't want to know what's in the box until I undo it. Okay, so we have a witch statement enamel pin, grapevine wreath, hibiscus flower sachet, jewelry piece by Forever Regular, raw blue quartz crystal, pearl santo smudge stick, unikite gemstone, snake dragon jade chip stone bracelet selenite wand, theme image, print. So we have this little packet which I'm going to open. And no idea what's in it. Let's pour it out. I'm loving these bags. Okay, so oh. Oh my god. Okay, you have a look at this and I'll read from this. The volcanic lava bead is completely natural and a healing stone of protection and strength. Lava beads provide stability and energy in times of change. It often helps to dispel anger. Cement our beliefs and provides guidance, clarity and hope in difficult times. It is a very grounding stone that strengthens and our relationships with our planet. Place around wrist or ankle and tighten cutting and burning off the excess and be careful wow i have lava from vesuvius well i didn't get it my dad got it but um that's mine now um and hopefully i can go get some what is that guy doing sorry hopefully i can go and get some um vesuvius lava myself um, I'm not sure where this particular lava is from, I may inquire, um, but oh wow, I love it. I have this thing with volcanoes, I really um, have this thing of like wanting to climb them, like I've done Arthur C. I was going to do Fuji but there wasn't time the first time and then the second time Kay was like, no I don't want to. We was going to go to the forest as well, which is still volcanic, but um, it was so out of our way when we went to Japan that we couldn't do that. Um, but yeah, I have this thing with volcanoes for some reason. Um, they're just like wonders of the earth, aren't they? So here again is this beautiful lava bead. I have just recently got into like ankle bracelets, so um, once the one that I'm wearing right now snaps off in due time, that one's going on. Next, I'm sure that was an in the little readout thing. No? Ooh, extra little gift. Very cool. Another? Oh, this one's a silver. <gasps> oh! Look at that. How pretty is that? One second. Look how nice that is. It's the, um, what was it? Jade chip. The... Snake Dragon Jade Chip Stone Bracelet. It's um, heavy and it's really nice. I used to collect these when I was younger, so this is a really nice throwback. And it's my favorite color and it's just very pretty. So now we have something that I'm trying to take all the um, confetti off. Let's 
little baggy. I think this is the Unikite. Oh, that's a gorgeous shape. It's kind of like holy. So, I'll read. Unikite Jasper is one of nature's most healing crystals of the heart and mind. It resonates with the frequency of love, compassion and kindness. It is a stone dedicated to balancing the emotional body. Love it. As a green witch, I am all about balance. Always have been. Although not in like a symmetrical way. If that makes sense to anybody. Okay. I have something in here. Honestly, can't figure out what it is. We shall see. It's wood. Oh my goodness, that smells lush. Is this the not a wand um sage smudging stick there we go a stick oh it smells so good i'm trying to explain the smell to you but i think of like burning wood but not like charcoal and then like maybe cocoa butter rubbed into that wood Oh, that's so good. Maybe like a hint of licorice. Yeah, that's what this smells like. So this is from Brazil, if I'm right. Um, burling, bur excuse me. Burning Palo Santo sticks is a sacred practice used by indigenous communities of the Andes to clean their space and ward off evil spirits. A spiritual practice where you clear your energy fields using a piece of burning Palo Santo. So um, I'm not going to burn this because um, I'm not like a sage smudge stick burner because it's not part of my heritage. So I'm just going to sit and smell it, if you don't mind. <laughs> Five minutes later. We have a baggie and it has for other irregulars um, logo on it so that's where I know it is, who I know it is, what, whatever. Um, I'll get into it today. I forgot what the forever irregular piece was actually so Yet again, a little surprise to me. It's rattly, as though it could be earrings. I initially thought the charm, because of how small it is. Ooh! Oh, we have a little moon confetti in it as well. We have a feather. A feather necklace. Um... Jewelry piece by Forever Regular. Yeah, I didn't say what it is. Um, if anyone was wondering what this is, it's my um, Edward Cezanne's scissors. Um, we have hibiscus flower, attracting love and lust, divination and dreams. Carry in a sachet or burn as incense to attract love. Oh, lovely. What? Hibiscus flower sachet. Hmm. Let's open this. Well, I'm reading the front and didn't realise that you can see it in the back. Oh, that's so good. I apologise if we're blurry because my camera cut off. Um, yeah, I'm still smelling the hibiscus. I'm thinking of... Um, making tea with it to be honest yeah I think um, I like a uh, hibiscus tea I like tea so um, yeah I'm thinking of um, making tea with it oh yeah this is what we need um, 
this isn't my only witch pin. I have, I don't know how many pins that I have that are either say witch or have um, a witch theme to it. Because um, I'm a pin collector and I said I'm a witch, so put them together. Um, was anyone else just tempted to sing Boobity Bobbity Boo then? Anyway, um, nice witch pin. We're going to like the old style to it. And then we have one more pin. I'm sure we was only supposed to be having one pin. Um, wish statement and I'm a pin. Yes. Yeah, it only mentions one pin. So here's the other. Oh, that's lovely. That's like, um, you know, the theme. It's like that we cut out again, so I had to go back and delete um, my Liverpool footage from years ago, anyway, which I will replace at the end of this year with more Liverpool footage. Um, so as I was saying, with said theme badge, I was only expecting the one badge, actually, um, but that's lovely, and um, we're done with the box. So, um, everything there is very lovely. Let me go through this again. Um, with including the lava and the extra pin. Um, I really like that witch pin. Um, that wreath will be really cute. Um... I'm going to make tea from the hibiscus. Um, I say I won't be using the smush stick, I will just smell it. Um, the jewellery pieces are so nice. I think, to be honest, what surprised me, because I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't know what was in here, as usual. Um, what surprised me the most was this, because it's so heavy and so beautiful. And it's another wand. Not like I need it, but I do. I need it. <laughs> um, I said that the lava was a highlight as well. So the lava and the wand. So thank you for watching this. And I will just do a few videos and pictures so you can see them up close. Bye bye.